and then some people they probably say that she's kind of bratty and and they can have all kind of excuses why they don't like her but this is the, let me see this is the 19th second of it sorry about the sorry about the um Dang it. I don't know why. I... Here it is. It's a 19 version of it. these commercials. Come on. Sure. People should respect the real me in this and probably the me that they Hold on. Let me go. People should respect the real me in this and probably the me that they've never gotten to know. Certainly not in the past few years. Uh, everything is through the lens of the media as opposed to well, just excited to be myself and talk and be unfiltered and But yeah, this ain't no family. And it, it's saying ever since they kind of fallen out, it, him and his brother was close, but they kind of fallen out too. For some reason, they look, they. <laughs> this was in, them in earlier times. I guess that's where he um, here, where he lives at now.
Yeah, but that's that story. That's the story of the couple. But yeah, that's their story, you know, just but yeah, that's something that, you know, that they really kinda like distance themselves away from her. And his their brother used to be very close, kinda close, but man. But yeah, I guess oh, when he when he married Megan, that that changed all that. You know. They were close when their mom was living, they were kinda close to the to the end. But, you know, as soon as that changed around and He met this woman, and that was it. And they said, oh, they changed the whole that history. But you see that no matter what, their father, is, that's their father. But I couldn't believe that their grandmother wanted to know how dark was the complexion of their skin. When I first heard that story, I said, man, are you serious? They still connected. And it goes all the way back. If she's not the first one, it goes back to earlier century. There was another woman that was mixed race. Where she, that was part of a queen in early Europe. But yes, yeah, subconsciously, England, like America, You know, they see race, man. They just and I think Megan is starting to see. No matter how successful you are, at some point in your professional life, and he's you know he's son of a queen. He's educated, been. Educated man, young man, everything. But you're going to experience some type of, you know, racial issues. And a lot of people, the generation, I think it's a generation, and some people that never really experienced racism don't understand. It goes to a different form. And it, it shocks even some people who really love people who love people but they, but subconsciously I've always said in my pe in my video is that people see you with their eyes and they see it in their mind that they see race and they project it out and this is highest to the queen and her family and they, they kind of you know kind of outcast his family his little family but no matter what, they, they, no matter if the queen don't like it, he, that's still her grandchildren. These children are her grandchildren, whether she like it or not, whether they're pure white or whatever, they still her grandchildren. They're her grandbabies. That's her grandson. Whether you know, whether it's her or anybody in that castle, you can't escape the fact it is what it is. You know, and they love each other, man. Real talk. And that goes for any other, other people that have that kind of mindset. If someone loves somebody, it is what it is. You got to deal with it. But if they truly love each other, they love each other. But they still haven't come to technically kind of outcast them. Which is really... But you know, really, it's really messed up. Cause I know his brother. They they had a close bond. They were very close. But the family put a wedge because of the wife that he selected, the woman he to be his wife. But they 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 live a happy life. But people they got their own support. They got people that support them and love them. But yeah, that that family of his man, they're trip.
<laughs> His family's a trip. Harry's family, and they got a reputation, boy. Woo, it goes back centuries. What they did to indigenous people and stuff, so. But anyway, but yeah, this, you know, no matter how you live, uh, and she lived, she lived the ultimate fantasy, got the prince of, one of the princes of Windsor, and the fab, living the fabulous life. But even up in the fabulous life, just because who your, black, your background is related to the people who they feel as the less inferior races, races, then that kind of lowers your stock and value in their eyes, according to the queen, the way their mindset is. Love may not see color, but people do. Some people do in families, and they don't want to be direct directed, and they don't want and they don't want her talking about it, and they want to cover it up and. And maybe it's just her personality. It could be. It could be just her personality. Maybe she got a diva personality. When she love him, I mean, you know, Harry's happy with her. I mean, he's not like you don't look miserable with her, you know. Like he's in his right frame of mind. They'll make up all kind of excuses. But yeah. But they in love. Let them be in love. All because of background and her mother, because of her mother, her color of her skin. Wow, you know that they don't, they would, they really don't like her. They don't really accept her, and they don't want that Negroid blood in their family. But they, but look what God did. He slipped it in anyway. <laughs> All right, then, ladies and gentlemen. My name is James. Till next time, you guys be blessed.